Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. Give me back my family, you monster! for that reactor and a steady Don't take kindly to outsiders. up is all. Wait, do you play Queen's Blood? Rolf gets really excited whenever he senses a skilled player nearby. You may find this hard to believe, but he's the world's only canine competitor. And he's pretty good, too. <laughs> he's saying he wants to go around with you. Well, you game?
Uh-oh, someone's a sore loser. But you gotta admit, he's pretty good, right? Amazing, even. Rolf is actually scheduled to make his television debut. They're doing a special with animals who can play Queen's Blood. And once we get famous, we can finally kiss this town goodbye. We got this. Right, Rolf?
to know a secret. Truth is, I bailed from the bandit life because I just couldn't hack it. So I... I figured I'd turn over a new leaf and become a Queen's Blood player instead, but turns out I'm no good at that neither. You gotta tell me, what's the trick, man? How do I get your kind of skills? What, don't like handing out free advice or something? Only a real cheapskate would charge for that shit, asshole. Well, better hang on to that gill of yours, cause next time we meet, I'ma take seven off you for sure. Hey, guys, you mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. Hmm? Shinra throws us a bone every so often, you know. Send us supplies. <laughs> years. Not a day goes by I don't think of my husband. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe. But not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <clears throat> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Ha! Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones. 
but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd, too. <laughs> Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett, of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> There's one thing you can count on, it's Dr. Sharon. Dr. Sharon's been distributing it's meals to the people in town. Says it's because he wants to keep them healthy and out of his clinic. Just between so, us, though, he's actually been mixing supplements in... Doc mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park, where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to! Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. Makes me feel safe. Like he's still here with me. This place is nothing like it was. And neither are we. Been out of work for ages. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in her head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right merc to save him for me. Or the right merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Curious about the guy who got nabbed? Well, what is there to say? I mean, their most notable traits ain't exactly unique. Not like I can give you a name or next to kin, neither. Could try to question the others, but we both know how that'd go. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, which reminds me. There's a compound in our robed friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. With blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Best 
Their sense seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. 
No. Hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Aw. You must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <clears throat> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Though I am a skilled tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? <laughs> Cloud, look. They gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use. found our man, what should we do with his captor? Well, Garrett asked us to raise the information. He didn't say anything about how we should deal with the kidnapping. You mean? We'll figure it out later. Understood.
do it. My turn. There. No escape. Let's do this. So now take him down.
too bad.
So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. <sighs> Kidnapper could be anywhere or anyone. The smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive. Bury the brat. <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Allow me. Going in. 
him up. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Sure, you got lots to catch up on. Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. Save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was going to have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over.
buy up new orbs on the cheap. Ones that are sh so join in her lament. This will take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat them up or something. 
practically the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Static. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. insurgent group. 
But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. <laughs> that they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right, we gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever, the Gold Saucer. Huh? So turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> What in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Eva Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you.
Cloud, the others are waiting. It's a challenge. We must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. Yeah. All right! <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on! Give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! Token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> thanks. Nicely done. Aren't you were pretty nervous. Glad you used to performing in front of me. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Well, you forgot to tell me that one later. Welcome to Paradise, the Gold Saucer. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Yay or nay? I, uh... Have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm alright. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. 
Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Get some sleep, okay? Mm, let's see. Hotel's gotta be that way. Somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future light. Just then he goes shooting the messenger. This eh? some kind of toy. You can lads. Eyes up here. Huh? Okay, Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Good life like that. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The Gold Saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! You coming? Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Friend 
told me the story. What do you mean? and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? Huh? Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't even dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Mm. Mm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. still stands, a fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. You think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Hey, 
anything the matter. <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. My apologies, sir. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. Reservation under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress. You have yourselves a ghoulish and motivated evening. for a bit. Cool. But not for fun. Just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Oh, 
more tired than I thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> you're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Vix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get bits. Right now. <gasps> mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Thank you. 
weird. Walk ought to clear my head. So you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn.
Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Sir! Sir! Uh -huh. <laughs>
to the enemy. Change your points before takeoff. Make us proud, oh, Mr. Oh, the final one, and we will need your wholehearted support to the. you're on the mend. You know, I could join you for a match, if you like. I uh, think I'll lie low for the time being. I lots of protein powder to drink. Did you see that? That's okay. Got muscle head cups too. Perfect for... 
muscle in and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. the gold saucer. Is spectating not enough? Want to step inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. Is spectating not enough? Want to step inside the ring? Are you interested in joining the fray?
holding back. Never in doubt. Throw down. Is spectating not enough? Want to step inside the ring? Looking for a DO t shirt? We got you. Hustle in and exchange your gold saucer points for fabulous prizes. We hope to see your sinewy self again soon. Looking for a DO t shirt? We got you covered.
a new pair of shoes! Welcome to Chocobo Square, Koopa! The racing birds here are as quick as lightning! Oh, Cloud, you're up! Feeling any better? Yeah, you were right. Just needed some sleep. That's good. Seeing all these chocobos kind of makes me miss Pico. Wonder how he's doing. Here you go. You can be this to one of the chocobos. Now hold your hand down. What? Got gold saucer points? Thanks. I have a wonderful time. Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. You had better not screw this up again. again. Let's go, Kubo! Let's make time, Kubo! We've arrived at your destination! Hello, and welcome to Park Central! Every square is your There's fun to be found all over! Good day, and well met, most esteemed guest. Perchance you have points for me? Other classics. Check the schedule for more details. I shall eagerly await our next interaction. Jesse. Still waiting on that pizza. Our old stomping grounds. Should take a look. Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. calls to you, begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for show. Huh. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart.
I repeat, advance tickets for tonight's performance and sold out. Same. Yes, name is Square, and I'll get you there. One hour before the show. Please line up here to wait. Let's see. Have yourself a magical day. stacks up against the real thing.
Freddy went after. <laughs> in order? If so, then it's time to throw down.
You can trade your points in right here with me. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. of a couple's thing. What's going on? I... I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. <gasps> Claude, we've got trouble! Kate Sith? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Why? Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. What? I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. Please move swiftly and calmly to the designated square at this time. We're needed on the Coliseum right away. I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No, uh, excuse me. Please go, please. Welcome, sir. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Found a place to... I need you to step back, please. Report sir. back to the director for speaking witness statements. It's like I told you, 
Someone went on a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? Hmm. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. Find me who did this. I'll make sure they rue the day they besmirched my golden paradise. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. 
but when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Market, maimed, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Desert Oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you, you, maybe you, or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why, because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pigs. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say 
There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on the quad. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Ooh. Uh, yeah. Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> not in a cage yet again, but at least I'm not alone this time. Thing for vultures. Keeps them as pets. They're trained. Well, this is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here. Don't you close? Hey, creepazoids! What are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. I wish Gus figured me No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. I just hope Barrett's safe out there. Be careful, okay? Well, this is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here. Won't you, Cloud? I wish Gus treated me as good as he was. That's right. You just follow me. Hey there. Or run for it. Sit with us. Go on. See how far you get. You call that running, you stupid bird? Roger new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. Hi, Mister. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? The one, in a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Hmm. I did see one of those scam artist lecturers buying veggies the other day. Good luck out there, cutie pie.
Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try.
out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Come back, if you want a challenge. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright hey, dying. No but hey, I ain't picky. like a guy who can hold his liquor that's our house specialty call it sunshine we take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible welcome to bale jumper watering hole for the dregs of the dust bowl heard you're in the market for some greens maybe if so i've got a garden up on the cliff everything's yours for the ticket Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them.
You had your chance. We won't hold back. No holding You ready? Not looking good. Gotta be careful. Let's try that again. Sloppy. You're done. You're as good as dead. Get ready.
back. Bird sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better for them than standard brush downs. Oh, 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 I have a hard time talking to people, and, well, I know I'm not the friendliest looking guy, so I can't convince anyone to go around. Anyway, uh, the name's Pat. You, uh, wanna play with me? Pretty please? <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined! I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your car down, you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the gutsy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me.
Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. May I help you? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you? Here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. Completely demolished. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. Wouldn't you agree? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why 
I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Ugh, what? No takers? Boo! You guys are no fun at all. Hmm? Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh, you big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. Well, shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauce to the max. So watch out, boyo.
Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Today, you, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. The bars around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on end and still not feel it. I'm gonna be drinking good. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life, but the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking good tonight. You want something, you take it. That's just the way of the world. You fought in the Beast Battleground? You're crazy. It was nothing. May have busted a rib, but I made it back. Welcome to society's trash heap. Got a lot for blood? Then you come to the right place. All our most ferocious fiends are camping in the pit. In the ring, it's man versus monster. Welcome to Beast Battleground. So, you looking for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya.
all done. some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. I'll take good care of your foes. If you're <laughs> and that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready be to hit the track to and win us that race. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. I also happen to know that you've racked up a few QB wins at the casino. As its owner, allow me to express my gratitude. Some players have no restraint. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out.
People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs, unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. You think the gear Esther's got is any good? Ideally, it'd give Pico an edge and be pleasing to the eye. Our boy's one handsome bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. Hey, Cloud. It's me, Chadley. This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a calming effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Just check with Gus. I know he'll back up. Huh? Shit! My wallet's gone! Come on, yeah. Meditations on the outlaw life. Gus is out of my... If you're looking to get stronger, my store has everything you'll need. My store will always be open to you. got solid pictures of the prison, so let me know if you find any other good backdrops. There's something beautiful about these savage designs. They're cut... ...edge. Revolutionary, even. Gives you some real insight into the minds of the folks who ride them. Fascinating. Almost makes you wonder which came first. The biker... Listen up, asshole! Watch your manners and talk to me! Make a peep and you're gone. That's a promise. Uh. Don't skimp on gear. So. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type-0 monster's a real toughie. 
Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life, but the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? You know, I just run by mail jumpers sometime. Their own specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. Promise. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? I'm dying to read Gus's- Gus's crib. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monsters are real toughy. <laughs> Oh, too bad. I'm afraid you've been had. My pupils have a knack for the art of deception. Well done. Discerning the truth is a skill, just like telling a lie. Now then, what say we take it from the top and have you try again? Next time. Well, do you... I'm dying to read Gus's... You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. It's the only bar that's. You've been. I'm dying to read. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's. Don't know if you've heard, but there's a special monster named Test Zero in the Beast Battleground. Congratulations! Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? You better take home that trophy, you hear? Today's victory will be our stepping stone to the big one, the Gold Cup. I know Pico's ready to win it all, but are you? Miss your chance. My cup is meditation. Right Listen up, asshole! How come y'all get to eat veggies? Wrestled up some quality stuff, did ya? <laughs> yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. What kind of gear are you in the market for? This will definitely come in handy for our next champion bird. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. What about... Oh, that stalker gang. Bet they got something. Might have to beat it out of them, though. Good luck out there, cutie pie.
He looks promising. Let's go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't bite. <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt ya. Promise. <laughs> what? Got a problem? <laughs> Nothing interesting over there. It's about time. <laughs> Sorry, but you're stuck with me now. <laughs> Allow us to show you how things work. Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? Nothing interesting over there. Uh-huh. Keep going. You got it. Just... And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> yeah! Yo, yeah! Oh! I got your number. You're done. You were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you. But we won't do it again. Promise! <laughs> Jockeys. Yeah, I'd say you're looking pretty good. So, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quay without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. In the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No okay, on you go.
competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <laughs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that.
Our ranch needs this win, so give it everything you got, for us. Well, try not to get trampled out there. Trying to manifest a win here. I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Aw, a bug boy. I'll go easy on ya. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Coliseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm gonna keep stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner.
You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. Hey, shouldn't you be somewhere doing something? You guys moving on then? And what are you gonna do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit, try and get a winning streak going. Besides, we still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. Hey, Cloud, I know you need to hit the road, but if you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. No, he'd love a victory lap. Suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. There's no way Baron shot those people, right? Are there any other gun-armed dudes who might have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. It's on you.
Don't hold back. <laughs> Allow me. Deal with that. All set. <laughs> <Put it> down. <laughs> I'm coming. You'll see. Go on. Can you take over? Marcher. Take the lead. Oh, okay, let's go.
see what I can do. I'm sorry about that. Here! That wasn't so bad. on sand for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. <sighs> I know the man who murdered all those people. Dying, my best friend. It was four years ago. The Corral Reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God. No. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Hey! Over here! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. You ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. Oh, how very great.
Marlene. So Marlene's... I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dain shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer, saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dain is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay! What are we waiting for? No time like the present. Sure, he's here. We're sure. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Barrett. Go.
Dying. That's you. Hey. I know you. Dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Elle, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Oh, good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Dine. What happened to you? Though, come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't like that <laughs> <laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit.
get it together. <laughs> <laughs> The best of friends together again! <laughs> Ain't it beautiful? Remember when we had that rat problem? You and me set traps, and you got caught in one of them. I guess old habits die hard. <laughs>
It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! Then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? <clears throat> I thought you wanted to help your own body! No wise words. <clears throat> Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... It changed our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. <laughs> His eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Diane, we could go see Marlene right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? 
Stop. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Here, I thought that Gus guy was just yanking our chain. Same. That said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man.
to hear with you. Here, that one's your own.
keep my distance if I were you. Can you take over Let's for me? Do this. <laughs> We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! this to eavesdrop. You can never be too careful. But you are innocent. And I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. <sighs> you will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. this thing? Leave it to <gasps> me, lass. No! 
now's your chance! Leave this riffraff to me! Time to get the blood pumping!
was fine. I'd like to think Dine would have been proud. Yeah, I think he would. my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. Sir, what is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine, to see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. It's a dream of mine. How cute. Who are you, really? Oh, come on. You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child. Aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm. But what do you truly want? Let's start this manhunt. I've lived 
lived a long and full life. So if my time on this planet is strangely beautiful, any regrets? But you are the only experienced a fraction of what our world has to offer. I'm so, so sorry, little ones. Oh, what are you sorry for? Don't cry, Grandma. Please? You're gonna make me cry, too. Feels like I'm the only one who can't stop staring at me. I heard some people saying that a giant meteor is gonna fall from the sky. People are saying the Marcos just dried up. Don't know how much longer the sun will stay on. So. Looking back, we sure did fight a lot, didn't we? I wish we could have gone. Seen anyone around here who looks like this? I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. Does this guy look familiar to you? Who's that? Why don't we all go camping? Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. Already put in my resignation. We've got freebies galore, folks! Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. Hey! <laughs> Shit! Think that's Avalanche? Could be. I have so I much to be grateful so hung up. Better check it out. These days, every time I sleep. That's gotta be Avalanche. Again. That was the church. What the hell was that? Can't we have a moment's peace? There's our man. Subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap cat. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonding, not fighting. Eric, promise me, you won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. That's it! I can't! Wait, just... just wait! We'll find somewhere to... <laughs> Pull over! She's about to bomb! Wait, Lassie! Not in the buggy! Not in the buggy! Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. Hmm. <sighs> Where to now? We don't have any leads. 
and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself... a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow! Meow, 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 meow! Your lucky food is... mushrooms. Um... Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett! You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? Alright. Float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako! Lucky food fortune. I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor's smack bang in the middle of a place for spot. Ah, you guessed it. The world's favorite fungi. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. Oh, 
Let's do this. Let's do this. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. You've got this. Hang back. It's on now. It's on you. Get ready to love the energy. This one's for you.
Any last words? Much of a challenge. 
This must be the sandstorm. Fortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed. You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! Ah, a ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get. Uh oh. Oh. This form! I can hold no longer! Oh. Oh. Oh no, down I go! Oh, what was that? <sighs> oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you alright? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? you should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it.
no? To them, the proto-relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty-bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. I wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? Whoa! No need for all that. Name's G. Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait. You can talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? Yeah. 
Proto relic, then? Huh? Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? You want the whole thing, Shrimp? Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. An ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the Treasure of the Sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say, how many of these mini reactors are there anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shimmer could produce anything half as resilient is this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. Let me your strength! 